This is it. Gemma, come home. Let's go. Let's go. It's a builder home. Come home. Shut your mouth, son. Shut your mouth, son. Let's go. Higher than giraffe vagina high while you're training. Bodybuilders kind of But crazy. also the drug addict kind of So crazy. listen, let's man. go. Listen, let's go. It's a builder home. Come home. Shut your mouth, son. Shut your mouth, son. Let's go. Higher than giraffe vagina Line through your training. Bodybuilders kind of But crazy. also the drug addict kind Come of home. crazy. Let's go. Let's go. What? up what up it's garage gym homie and today today i'm reviewing apollo nutrition and panda supplements face off is it worth it before we get into this here please click the subscribe button i got content coming out all the dang time for you so click subscribe and let's get into this god bless all you homies man i hope you're living from here staying out of here man where the noise is this is where god is right deep down within man that's where you find him anyway man this is crazy i can't believe look at this tub man look at that tub of pre-workout this is a traditional if i don't know any better homie this act the actual physical tub this is a pollen fashion right here man one of those big fat of pollen tubs man like that double impact hooligan hitter man so look man you never know what you is this gonna deliver the panda vibes or the apollon vibes you don't know homie we're gonna get down to business man so you can hit me in the email garage gym homie at gmail.com if you're a struggling addict or alcoholic man my purpose is to be helpful in any way i can to ensure that you never go back, man. If you're ready to be done for good and you're willing to do whatever it takes, man, I would be honored to give my time to guide you, do whatever I can, or just drop me a line home. Don't ask me for a pre-workout recommendation. I get so many emails. Oh, pre can you recommend the best pre-work? Homie, just watch the videos, man. I don't wanna recommend the best pre-work. You're gonna get me pissed off, homie. All right, man, let's get down to business. If you like what I have to say about this hitter, I'm gonna link below where to get it with the code. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, this is not for everybody, homie. I promise you that. This is not for everybody. So if you're that special kind of individual that this just may be for, the kind of individual where your head just doesn't tick like everybody else's, something ain't right, homie. What are they? Not all the dogs are barking up there. <laughs> then this might be for you. All right, man, sick freaking tub, homie. Sick freaking tub, sick graphics, sick design. Let's get down to it, homie. So they are giving us the facts, man. God bless their soul. God bless their soul. And this is Face Off. That's a movie, homie. That represents, if you've seen that, that represents the, the panda reassignment surgery I'm going to get. If you've seen pa Face Off from, uh, who is in that, Nicolas Cage? Was it John Travolta? I'm gonna get panda reassignment surgery by the latest, greatest physician of our times, Dr. Fauci. All right, man, here we go. They're doing this one scoop, two scoop, redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss. They even made it. Redfish, bluefish. Redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss mumbo jumbo, homie. We do two scoops and you get 22 grams, man, 22 grams in a, uh, for the two scoops. And I just want to say a level scoop was uh, two level scoops was 20 grams. So you got to do two little heapers, man, to get the full serving. And I suggest throwing it on the digi, man. You do not want to play with this label, man. And, uh, before I forget, this was a hooligans blood flavor and it was, um, it was decent, it was good enough, tasted like 80% of every pre-workout over there that I've ever had. You drink it, you get down to the dance floor. I don't, I don't suggest being too concerned about flavor with this one, homie. This is more about the stims than the flavor. All right, man, supplement facts. So they're giving us chloride, sodium. Here we go, man. L-citrulline, eight grams. None of that citrulline malate trash, homie. Beta alanine, so that's for the pumps, man, the vascularity, the gorilla. Beta alanine, 3.5 grams. That's for the warm, fuzzy hug, the tingles, the endurance, the revved up feeling, a little lactic acid buffering. Uh, betaine anhydrous, 
2.5 grams, that's for the power output. L-tyrosine, two grams. Then you got lion's mane, homie, one gram. And you will taste a little bit of that lion's mane, homie. Just letting you know right now, it's got the that uh, a pollen, uh, hooligan, bare knuckle kind of zing to it. So you will taste that lion's mane. Alpha GPC, 800 milligrams, homie. That gets you focused and dialed in, thinking about the weights, forgetting about your Tinder dates. Why? Women don't like you, son. Left swipes on you all day, son. Caught you shopping for your pre-workouts at Target, son. Despicable, homie. Sodium chloride is pink Himalayan sea salt, 500 milligrams. You hear that, man? You don't even shop at Walmart for your pre-workout. You shop at, you've downgraded to Target, homie. Oh, my God, man. Then you got Ariagerenesis, 400 milligrams, 400 milligrams of the stimulant that pairs well with caffeine, a little more energy, mood, focus, yada, yada, huda, huda. Listen to this, man. Caffeine and hydrus, 300 milligrams. That's a nice amount of caffeine, homie, but listen. Then you got caffeine citrate, which is caffeine bonded to citric acid which is a fast-release caffeine, which yields approximately 50%. So, so far, we're at 400 milligrams of caffeine. A high amount, man. Then you got di-caffeine malate, a third kind of caffeine. That's caffeine bonded to malic acid, which yields approximately 74 75%. And so you got 150 more, which gives you a total of 550 milligrams of caffeine from three different sources. So I love the three different sources. I'm not a huge fan personally of the 550 of caffeine only because of the reason that I'm a supplement reviewer. So it, it's, it's not good for my tolerance because then all the other supplements I review kind of fall short. So I like to keep my tolerance low. That's just because I'm a reviewer, homie. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking 550 milligrams of caffeine once in a while. Uh, N-methyl triamine hydrochloride, that's an NMT hitter, 100 milligrams. I think that's underrated, homie, an underrated stimulant. Isopropyl cinephrine, 60 milligrams. This is crazy, man. This label is nuts. Uh, estrogen, 50 milligrams. And alpha yo, two milligrams, man. I love that alpha yo at two milligrams. Homie! Love it, homie! All right, man. This is, you know, I expected this kind of label out of a pollen, but Panda, you should be ashamed of yourself, homie. You, I've been helping you through rehab, detox, sober living, and you come, uh, you're on all these dang stims again. You should be ashamed of yourself, son. Apollon, I expected this out of you, though. All right, man, let's get down to business, man. So I took the drink. I did. I came down to the dance floor. It's time for some serious iron pumping. I just want to tell you this. It's a Stim Junkie pre-workout. That's, that's for dang sure, homie. This thing right here, man. So look. Whew. Let me catch my breath, man. What an experience. This is one of these pre-workouts, I just want to say, that's like, one of those like seven, eight hour experiences. This is one of those pre-workouts that la it's like an all, like if you take it in the morning, it's like an all day energy experience, homie. I'll just tell you that right now. Don't add nothing to this. Don't mess with the synergy. I added one scoop of creatine monohydrate and that was it, man. No pumps, nothing like that, man. You, you don't want to mess with 22 grams. It's loaded. And for 22 grams, it was not very heavy on the stomach. You kind of felt it a little, but it wasn't like one of those super bloating pre-workouts, which is really nice, man. Some of those pre when the scoop gets kind of heavy, you kind of, it, it holds you down. I like to be light, man, dancing. All right, man, so you take the drink, you come down to the dance floor, you feel the hitter within 10 minutes, man. Very, very um, quickly. Does the, some physical energy come in? You feel this alert, awake feeling. So now, I took this, homie, only on an empty stomach. I just want to say, even for all these stimulants, um, I didn't have any negative side effects. There was nothing in here. It's a calorie burner, man. It's going to get your dang heart rate up, but not in a negative sense, man, in more of like, I'm training really hard, man. So it's... it's it. Um, 
It comes together really nicely. The formula is really nice. Even the two milligrams of alpha I'm going to talk about. So I come down, man. I felt physical energy about 10 minutes, homie, before I even felt beta alanine, which is pretty rare in the industry, homie. So I, I came down the physical energy. I started feeling very awake and very clear headed that, that lion's mane, oriogerenesis, alert, clear headed feeling, very clear headed, like your head's kind of floating off your dang, you know, neck. And you just have, even if you're like really tired, man, you're going to just feel like it wipes away the fatigue and you just got this clear headed, nice focus, not so much mood elevation yet, but then about 20 minutes in, strong beta alanine comes in, man, which surprised me because I have not been feeling a lot of beta tingles lately. And this one right here, man, even with all this going on, I felt good, like head scratch. Like I had to take my hat off, start scratching my bald head, man, feeling that good beta tingles, man. So you got to feel the betas to be an alpha, homie. GGH told you. So look, man. The physical energy comes in for like the first half hour mixed with um, mixed with ver that very clear headed um, feeling. You start feeling pretty stimmed up, but nothing too crazy, man, for the first half hour. Like it took a while for this pre to fully come together, man. After 45 minutes is when the pre started to like really shine, shine, shine. I started feeling that good nootropic alpha yo head high and I was just feeling really freaking good on it, man. Like really, I had panda dysphoria, homie. I started identifying as a panda. That's what happens when I take panda pre-workouts that are really good. I start out, and then I need everyone around me to affirm my pandaness. And if you don't, homie, you're a bigot, homie. You're a bigot, because I am a panda, man. When I take this, I'm a mix between, I don't know if I'm a mix between Robic and this panda, but I'm somewhere in the middle here, man, I guess so. I guess so, man, right there. That's how I feel. Pandaness, man, panda dysphoria. It's a mental disorder, man. This pre-workout gives me a mental disorder. I have to identify as a panda. All right, man, back to it. The pumps are solid on it, man. I'm telling you, like, the eight grams of citrulline, you will have, it's not that glycerol super swole pump. It's not really even a pump you can feel. It gives you that look where you just got sick vascularity. If you keep it semi-lean, sick vascularity all across your chest, your body, your, you just have veins that are popping, man. Really nice citrulline experience. I, the kind of pumps I really like, the dry pump, man, not that cheap, wet glycerol, you know, kind of pump where you feel all swollen, bloated, that kind of pump where it leaves you still looking tight, man. So this is what I want to say, man. If you like pre-workouts, like Ninja Unleashed, Crack Reloaded, I can name a few others, man, that are just like compliant pre-workouts, but drug addict pre-workout. It's got that, com it's a bodybuilder pre, but it's also the drug addict kind of pre, man. You know what I'm talking about? It scratches the itch and you're like on one, homie, all day. But I'm telling you, it takes a good 45 minutes and then you feel that alpha yo. And for me, it's my sweet spot, man. The alpha yo at the two milligrams, however it's sourced, it's good feeling alpha yo. No crazy heart rate, but at the same time, man, like my watch said, like I burned like 550 calories when I was pumping iron, man. And a lot of times when I take lower stims pre-workouts, it only say like three or 350. So it's a definite difference. The stimulants are definitely getting you going, man. I mean, you feel like a high with it. I'm telling you that Araya Gerenesis, clear headed, alpha yo, caffeine, high energy, high alertness, high focus, more focus than mood elevation, but you feel good, man, after like an hour. And then after your training, like if you take it and start training right away and you kind of feel it building, building, building. I like to take the pre's and then feel them kick in while I'm training, man. And then afterwards, I'm talking like six, seven hours of just good, productive 
energy, without the crash or come down or any of that, man. So sick pumps, finally some sick beta alanine. It's been a minute for me since I've had some real hitter beta. Freaking awesome physical energy. Awesome, like, nootropic, clear-headed, head-high, focus, but compliant, perfect alpha-yo experience, man, like, like, like 45, 50 minutes in that alpha yo comes in, you get that good alpha yo nootropic head high, which also contributes to the physical energy. Decent sense of urgency, man. It's kind of a builder, honestly, man. It's not a slapper in the face. Decent sense of urgency. Everything good about it, man. Just those high level, I'm telling you, if you were like a ninja unleashed, dark labs crack reloaded, just those high caffeine, Alpha Yo, Ariadurenesis pre-workouts, like as much as you can get out of a non-DMHA compliant pre-workout, this is it right here. Like, like the tops, 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 as far as energy, focus, move, everything for a, for a non-DMHA, for a compliant pre-workout, it's, it's the top tier that you can get. That's what I'll say, man. So it's, it's, like, it's like for a non-DMHA pre-workout, it's a must have, like it's a must have just top notch pre-workout. If you're a, a pre-workout kind of sewer, homie. So I, I've talked a lot of junk, all in all, hitter experience, man, top notch pre. Uh, it just excels in every department, even the pumps, surprisingly, man, because it's, it's just like a stim baggage. But the eight grams of citrulline, man, even with all these stim, just gives you that hitter vascularity. Don't add nothing to it, man. Enjoy the ride. God bless all of you. Together, let's get this dang muscle. I'm out.